This is my Black & Decker Lithium 20 volt reciprocating saw. I use this saw a lot and as you can tell, um, it's quite dirty. I just used it on a septic line replacement. So I was cutting a lot of PVC and I use the 1.5 amp hour battery because it's just more maneuverable. If you're in a trench and you're, you know, putting this saw at different uh, angles, this is going to be the better battery. Now, if you're looking for longevity, you're cutting some trees. I would use the four amp hour or a little bigger. I have multiple four amp hours and multiple 1.5. So um, I just swap them out. And this saw uh, actually a cool story on it. I use this saw to help cut a tree off of a friend's house. After a hurricane, people were having issues with their chainsaws. I didn't have mine with me. And so I used this and I was cutting more and, um, I could get in different places because it wasn't as dangerous as a chainsaw on a roof. So I use this tool free blade uh, release so you can get your blade out. Never lost a blade. The locking trigger right here, it just clicks into place. Locked. Oh, I'm sorry. Locked. I won't pull the trigger. Unlocked. You can pull the trigger. I'm in my shop, so this might be a little loud. It has. Um, you know, plenty of power. It, it gets the job done. It does a, a lot of work. I've never had an issue with it. Um, that's my review on my Black & Decker reciprocating saw.